In this video, we will talk about Patucheto Nange leaving Kaiser Chiefs and his new club confirmed. We are going to also talk about Muli Finsegi getting fired by Kaiser Chiefs and why this is. It's more than what you actually think. It also answers the other questions they've actually had the entire season about systems and positions at Kaiser Chiefs. So stay tuned for that. Hello and welcome to Kosi Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo. I am your host. And this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. Amako Si Football Club. Right. Let's start with Upatu Chetso Nange. We knew this. It was a matter of time. Uguti Unange was going to leave the Chiefs and the club has confirmed Uguti left. They actually said player update and they just posted in the Baganange Pel. I'm still waiting for more. I actually delayed making this video because I thought they were going to announce more players who they are leaving, but for now it's Nange. Maybe by the time I publish this video, more players will have been released or announced. I think tomorrow Chiefs will be announcing their new players. That's why there's been all of that movement in Naturen. Anyways, Nange is the first one to go and we already know his next team. I said this a few months ago, Guti is likely going to go back to Super Sport United. And Unplayable did tweet that Uguti, he already signed a contract with Super Sport United earlier on today. And to confirm that, Ugavin Hunt, the coach of Super Sport United, went to the tweet and quoted it and put a blue heart, which signifies that, yes, Patu Chetso Nange is now blue. So congratulations to him because I didn't want him to go back home and sit without a job. So he has a team that is going to play for and a team that is going to appreciate his talents because Vele under Kevin Hunt, he will thrive. They've worked together before and hopefully that helps the super sport. And then we have a competition in the PSL. I want to see that. I want to see our football being competitive, guys. You know, sometimes it's so depressing. You watch a Premier League at one on Saturday, and then it came here Pelang three, and then Uvelo Vuli I Lokunja, I PSL Nkosiam, and then the football is so slow, it's boring. So I am all for competition amongst the team that we have in amongst the teams that we have in the PSL. So hope Super Sport Nabo they come out swinging next season, and then let's get it going. Uh, <laughs> now let's move on and talk about in the Bagam Egi. But before we talk about Tumli I want to give a special shout out to one of our members, Umongs. Shout out to you, Umongs. And also ask you guys, please subscribe and like the video. It does help me to reach more people like you. And if you subscribe, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy in my time time because I see that people are enjoying the content and they want to see more of my content. Okay, let's move on. Molifensek. What is his job? We've been asking the entire season. So apparently his job is to be the bridge between the development and the first team. In what sense? Because some of these things mean I question them because you can't just throw random words at us and, be, and expect us to We're just going to say, oh yeah, we understand what it means by bridge. Because to me, bridge facilitates smooth movement in terrains or places where it's not supposed there's not supposed to be a movement for example a car crossing over a bridge a bridge makes sure good see the smooth movement from two places to the other places but one of the ways that you can do that is by ensuring would you give that person enough power to implement system change across all platform what do i mean by that because if you are moving a player was playing in a 352 situation to a 4231 situation they are likely going to struggle let's just take Uduba for example Uguti. you take him from a development hfc and you're expecting him to play and just shine all the time but if you're looking at development year two at times by the lily 352 and leo 352 leo that means up front there are two strikers and that means there is a partnership between the two strikers if it's like we 4 2 3 1 that means he's partnering with two other players and the, the distance between those players is very huge right even if they're inverted wingers but the dynamics and the movement and how the player is supposed to to move around it's different so then since we saw good the systems were still different and in many ways the way that we play in development is not similar to the way that we play in the senior team then how much power was really given to Mlifin Tsegi to change those things because in other teams like that power is given to the sporting director and actually the sporting director then passes that power to the coach example i'm a liverpool fan in europe and jürgen klopp 
go Liverpool from under 19 Gapezul, they are playing the same system as the senior team so that when a player gets promoted from the the, 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 the development to the senior team it's easy transition you are used to playing in the system you are not getting used to playing the system first and then you have to adapt because good case achieves you do not have time to adapt that's the fact and i know we have been saying this good team in a in a perfect world we should be giving players time to adapt right but when it comes to case achieves and our fans they don't have time for that you miss one chance you don't play one game it's finished. You are done. Only players with strong mentality like Pablo Ngezane have been able to come back from those setbacks. One mistake and then he was done. Comes back, tries to win his place back. He wins it, but then there's a mistake there. Why? Because Kaiser Chiefs, it just hits different. Much more to the players coming from it development. Ugut, if that thing that position is not really being taken care of Uguti. that bridge anyone who's facilitating that must make sure Uguti, indeed the things are done in a similar way so that players don't have to don't take long to adapt because that's how careers are killed even for players with great potential they just end up looking average because they have to adapt and then fans pull them and then their careers are finished just like that so I want to read you guys a a, 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 a a quote from this report by Tisky Times because they are talking about Tuguti. Umlifinsegi Roliake, he has not fulfilled it. Reason being, they are saying, upon further investigation, the publication was informed that while Nsegi's work behind the scene in relation to first team matters has not been considered and utilized, but his pathway of influence was allegedly blocked by certain members of management and staff you guys they are saying his role he influenced yak in doing what he was hired to do was blocked by some of the staff and the management and obviously when we say staff the first person that people will think about is uzwane is a shepherd i don't know what they mean about staff but when they say management management guys belly management they are the ones who hired him if it was Uzwan and Shepard, i would say oh they are just being arrogant why are they doing that but the management as well Njani, because they are the ones who hired him right so you can't hire a person to come and do a job and then prevent him from doing that job i'm a teacher and now a person's gonna tell me don't teach kids today <laughs> guys it doesn't make any sense Uguti, how can you hire someone and then stop him from doing his job or having the influence that he's supposed to have as a person who's hired to do that and it's it's weird because it's just one thing that i would like to hear what you guys think about this whole issue but i, I it's interesting Uguti. in this report they also talk about Uguti, the scouting of case achieves and scouting players was given to Kazam Town Jr. And we saw Velugute Wuye, who seems to have been more involved with the players coming to each Chiefs. But once again, is he not supposed to be a sporting director working with Ama Scouts? He's been scouting himself. Njani? Njana, I don't understand. He's a sporting director, not a scout. But his scouting has been left to him. I understand if he's the one making the final decision. But according to this report, it sounds like he's the one who has been scouting it, identifying talent. I hope it's just like Ugu, the final test. But they wouldn't state Uguti, it's up to him because Vele is a known thing. Uguti, sporting director and the coach work together to say, make the final decision, Uguti, which player are we bringing in? But the scouting itself is done by the scouts. Which is why we've missed some of the things that because if 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 Kugut okay, I'm down Junior is a scout and the Chiefs are playing in Cape Town in Stellenbosch, he's usually playing is there in Cape Town watching the Chiefs play Stellenbosch. It says Galax are playing a pirate who's watching Opas perform there, right? Something like that, Uguti. Because he's with the team, Gandama scouts can be sent to go and watch. It's all weird. It's really, really all weird, Uguti. The scouting was left to Kazam Down Jr. and what about this the 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 the
what about the scouts themselves it's weird let me know down in the comment section Guti, what do you think about this whole shipping i just said shipping thank you so much for watching and until next time remember equals <laughs> i'll pay you more